Hello and welcome to I'm Chintan and you are watching our vision firstly thank you for clicking on this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and also hit the bell icon so in this video we're going to take a look at how to model the shape inside of sketchup without using any plugins so let's take a look at that and let's roll the intro <laughs> sketchup and you guys can follow along and make it along with me so first we need to do make an arc which is perpendicular to the xy axis and like in the z axis and make it of any size doesn't really matter so after we have this then we need to make a semicircle which we need to follow along this arc so how we do that is like you can make a line like this and copy it using control and then select it and make an arc along it so after you make this arc uh, you will have your semicircle which is in the red axis or the red plane so let's, this is like okay and after this uh, select this and just make it a group so always try to work in groups and using components and that will help your workflow so then we can just follow this along but first we need to flip it along the blue axis and then we need to make it fit down yeah lower this and then select this shape and cut it ctrl x and then open the group and paste it so after this select this path and just follow along the shape with this so after we have this shape so you can move it a bit so that we can have it in the xy plane now uh, keeping this aside for a moment and we need to make something else which we need and you will let's see what it happens so make a rectangle and make it perpendicular to the xy plane as previously so do that and uh, right now mm, this should be big enough yeah so after we have this select it and make it a group and rotate it to about 10 degrees or 15 degrees i guess so let's try 10 type in the number 10 and let's see okay that is a bit narrow we can rotate it a little bit more so let's rotate it five more degrees okay so let's select this and let's push it to five so now we have rotated it to 15 degrees now you can either mirror this or rotate it to 30 degrees as shown and like make this v shape thingy now bring this path closer to the origin and so that we can like dissect the semicircle tube shape with a V. So move it closer and yeah this is it. So after we have this, after we have this we only we need to do is just select it all and explode it. So exploding it and we now need to intersect the faces. So select all and intersect faces with model or selection that is all there is to this after this we have this shape which we need to clean up a bit and delete the extra bits that we don't need so yeah select this and delete and yeah, this bit also and select here and delete so cleaning up clean your model up so after we clean this up and we have a shape that we need to multiply sort of along the center so make it a component or a group doesn't really matter uh, and like select it and just rotate multiple copies of this so as you remember we made an angle of 15 degrees and then we mirrored it to the other side and so we basically need 12 copies of this and then all we have left is to just select it and color it and then we have our shape which looks like uh, i don't know garlic pumpkin something like that but in the architectural world we can use it for anything such as a chair or a sitting comfy lounge or something like that or in light or light fixture or something like that so yeah i can do this and all day yeah, this looks dope so yeah this can be a feature or like a landscape feature or something like that 
so i hope you learned something from the video and if you have any questions leave it down in the comments down below so uh, please like and subscribe to the channel it helps me and it will help me to create more videos like this so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video